What's up, guys? We're back on our alt account here on Cold War, grinding for Dark Aether again. And in our last video, our top comment was from Cam saying he wants to do the Bullfrog on D Machina. So that's what we're redoing today. Right now, there is double weapon XP. So uh, if you want to see me do a weapon, go ahead and leave your suggestions below. Uh, I'll have a comment with all the weapons we've already completed so we don't get any repeat suggestions. Also, leave what map you want me to do. I've seen people starting to throw in other suggestions like no uh, Rampage Inducer, no this perk, no that. And then uh, maybe, maybe we might do some of those. But uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to get these done. But anyways, here's my camo progress on the Bullfrog for the Grunge camo. I have every Everything but the rotten camo we need about 600 more kills liquid we need a thousand five hundred crits for brush stroke we need a thousand one hundred pack a punch kills i'm pretty sure yeah a thousand one hundred i don't know why i was going blank on that but for our vintage camo we have that all done fauna is all done topo is all done and we're two levels away from unlocking infection and we should get that pretty easily and i'm running the apex reticle here on the micro what is this micro micro flex led site we're going to change it up today uh i think i'm going to switch this to the kg be eliminator barrel should i stick with task force or should i go cavalry i normally go cavalry but it feels like smgs drop off and damage like a lot faster than other weapons i think i'll, I'll try task force today and then tiger team spotlight bruiser grip uh going with the 85 round mag if we have that much ammo pre-pack a punch it's definitely worth it uh speed tape and skeletal stock or should we do spatness stock i'll just do skeletal and then of course going in with bring a fire so let's go ahead hop on d machina and try to get this thing done also just want to say there's a fat percentage of you guys that watch my videos and aren't subscribed so if you want to subscribe that'll help me out a lot and same with the people that like the video i appreciate you guys all right here we go coming in on our uber air got the triple double xp going double battle pass double weapon and double just normal xp i think we'll be able to get our two levels pretty fast here and then we'll get our jackrabbits done i kind of want to do rampage inducer but I know how bad I struggle on D Machina, and I don't know if I want to just start this off by going down. I need to pay attention to my crits here, though, because that's what's going to take us the longest to get done, per usual. And when I'm playing, just leveling this up, I'm not caring about crits too much, so I really need to focus up here. Where are the zombies? Oh, there we go. I really cannot aim without dead shot. It's ridiculous. Actually, never mind. I'm goaded. Never mind. The second I started saying something, I can't get crits. I just got to not speak ever. We got insta kill. You know what? Throw on Rampage Inducer. We'll turn it off once we got enough money to leave this room and go pack a punch, and then we'll get all set up maybe sit in penthouse but i kind of have a different strat i want to try today where are the zombies hello there they are why does the spawn still feel slow with rampage inducer on i missed the halloween event so much in this game if the halloween event dropped perks it would literally be the most like fun rng zombies type mode i wish there was an option just to turn it on because i don't think we're ever going to get that again maybe next halloween but i don't know if they'll add that but with the way vanguard zombies is going maybe they will but also i i uh, i'm already down I hate it here. Let's hit the nuke. And then revive ourselves and turn off the rampage inducer because obviously our big boy pants don't fit right now. But what I was saying, shout out to Treyarch for actually putting uh, double weapon XP back in Cold War. Helps me out so much trying to get these videos done. And also shout out to you guys for suggesting all these SMGs in a row because we are getting close to Plague Diamond SMGs. I can't believe how bad of a track record I have on D Machina. I feel like every time I come on here, I play the absolute worst I could and I accidentally just wasted a decoy too as I'm talking about how bad i am but i always end up going down super early and then i always end up either just dying completely and having to restart or just struggling the whole time but once we get to like round eight here i think we're gonna go through try to get power on and everything get that done also we just leveled up so we're one level away from having to go for our jackrabbit medals and we're out of ammo hands oh my god max ammo spawned immediately after buying ammo what is wrong with this game why is it troll why do they do that all right you know what let's just go Open up the bunny door. Let's pop this open. Pop this open. While there's double points, I'm gonna go get my loose change in penthouse. Wait, why do I have Tesla Storm on? Did I choose the right class? I don't think I did. Oh well. Get these kills while double points is active. All right, I guess I'll I'll finish out the round here. Maybe just leave one and then go turn power on. A few more. A nuke. We do not want that. Never want a nuke when we're grinding camos. Okay, one zombie left. Two zombies left actually. Don't matter. We're gonna go get this power on. But also, I'm gonna grab this loose change. Lay down, please. And quick revive. Remember when you used to be able to lay down? in this water and crawl around i remember go ahead open up doors thank you and i'm usually right door gang but today we're taking left door because i think what i want to do besides grab this loose change is i want to camp out in this room and see how that is for grinding camos we've had a few of you guys suggest that before and i've tried it for leveling weapons but not for going for camos so we'll see how it does today grab this loose change start up the reactor and then let's go hit the buttons there's one watch the movement ah uh, that was not impressive at all i just jumped and climbed over let's hit this grind the rail oh that was so weak i walked on it i gotta actually grind a real rail this is a long rail hold on let's get this let's try to get the zombies out of the way first i'll them around idiots grind the rail 
Okay. That was uh, decent if I was five years old. All right, let's go get our part. I'm gonna go grab the Aether Tunnel. Oh, I gotta buy this. And I, I say it every time I'm on here, I'll say it again. The Dark Aether is beautiful, and it's a shame we don't see enough of it. It's so nice, dude. I don't know why they ever decided that this is going to be, like, a limited time thing on D-Machine. Like, not limited time, but you're only here for, like, I don't know, two minutes before it resets and puts you back in the real world. Like, come on. Let me stay in the Dark Aether. We got our machine part, and we have opened this door. We're all good to go to sit in there. And honestly, it kind of makes sense to sit in there with the armor stand so close by and Pack-A-Punch. But Penthouse does have the, the perk machine which is probably more important once you get into later rounds. Speaking of perks, let's go ahead and do this before I have enough money to buy Jug in the middle of the Easter egg and not be able to get it for free because I'm stupid. We're going to try to avoid all that and get it done right now. There we go. There's another one. And I think this is the last one. Yep, let's go. All right, go do your coffin dance. I'm gonna go look around for stuff. Let's even get a perk out of one of these crystals. I've hardly ever gotten perks out of these crystals. Maybe today's a different day. Ray gun, maybe? Has anyone ever gotten a ray gun out of these crystals? I feel like there's probably like 40 people in the whole world where that's happened. Little monkey guy. What's up, monkey guy? What are these guys here for? Because isn't this the same model that's in the, the rovers in Outbreak that you have to escort? Did they just reuse that? Why is there a little monkey here? All right, we couldn't get too much there. Probably could have, but I was dicking around looking at the monkey. All right, what do we got in this? Okay, Judge. Perfect. What's this? A 1911 and a monkey bomb. Why is it so laggy? Stop lagging. Stop lagging right now. Let's take out these plague hounds. Then we can go sit in my little room and save up enough money till we can pack a punch and get dead shot. There's our max ammo and we're home. When does the portal appear here that we can use? We can warp up to the top with. Oh, Megaton. Immediately. The first thing we see in here. I'm throwing a decoy out front. Very unnecessary, actually. Did not need to do that. Let's just get out of the room until we get a ring of fire or pack a punch or literally anything. I just need a few more kills here. Okay, we got a ring of fire. Why are they throwing shit at me? I was hardly up on anything. Ring of fire. Megaton go down. It go down. It don't. It don't go down. They're, I'm actually getting body blocked back here. Got to hear Megaton. You can also leave. Let's pick up the key card just because. And get that double points as to round ends, of course. Free armor though take those and we have enough to pack a punch let's go do it let's grab it inspect it please this is what the bullfrog looks like with the first pack of punch camo here on d machine it's all right i mean the first pack of punch camo here not my favorite but it's not bad let's go ahead and head back to our room until we get enough money to buy a perk and i think our next perk is just gonna be dead shot it's just so necessary is it me or does the yeah gunshots out here sound like this and you come in here and they like echo off the wall that's a cool touch 1500 kills while pack a punch let's go a thousand more now so when we're at 1100 173. We should have that camo done. All right. I think we have enough to go get it. We have to run all the way up to Wonder Fizz. It takes so long to get there. Oh my God. It's not even here yet. Forgot it's 10 rounds after you get power. Okay. I'm going back down. You know what? The rounds are probably faster in Penthouse to start. But first, how much do I have? I think I need 50 more blue scrap, but I can buy a self revive. And then I'll feel comfortable turning on Rampage Inducer again, or at least a little more safe. So I'm never comfortable with that thing out on this map. Oh, let's go level 50. We can start getting our Jackrabbits done. Let's try to do them all in one swing swoop here let's not get hit at all until they're all done until we see that contamination camo pop up or corrosion i can't remember which one's the last one it, it starts with a c i'm pretty sure though all right so far so good finish off the round without getting touched well honestly i think i'm just gonna go open the door to dead shot and just go buy it from there i'm not waiting a whole 10 rounds Did somebody just fucking cough in here what the hell is that why have i never heard that before somebody's just in here coughing that was so weird zombies got all the way i need to stay safe we made it no we got hit there goes our jackrabbits Man, it was all because I heard a cough, a cough of death. Oh, there's a self revive. We don't even have to buy one. We'll take that. All right, let's pop open the right door now. Thank you. Up over here, hop down here, grab dead shot and the loose change from it. Might as well put the key card in since we're right here. Another max ammo. They're just throwing max ammo at me today. All right, we got 8,000 now. I'm going to put cryo on this and we're just going to try to bunker down in that room for a little bit. I don't know if I want to turn Rampage Inducer back on. I'm so conflicted. So I know the rounds will be faster. I'll be more efficient. But I, I, I also suck. Let's get this to green, blue. Can we get it any higher? No. All right, let's chill in here. Maybe I won't turn it on until I see this portal thing pop up. When does that happen? And why is it gone, actually? Do I need to go, like, up to the top and open it? Like, go back through the way I got the Pack-A-Punch part? Or will it just open? Oh, there's Corrosion. Corrosion's the first one. I'm actually gonna run up and see if I can do that. So I can just get that open. That's the easy escape if anything ever happens. Unless it was just patched. Why would they Why would they patch that so late? Yeah. That, this is why. This thing's not floating yet. Okay. Let's grab the loose change from Jug, though. We got something on it coming up here. What's up, Megaton? Get the hell out of my way. Thanks. And now we go back to the room. Come on in, zombies. I dare you. I'm kind of tempted to put down, like, toxic growth in here. 
That wouldn't be a bad idea to get started up. Let's just use our Ring of Fire so we don't waste it by switching field upgrades. And then now we can switch to our Toxic Growth. Where is it? Do I not have a class with it? Hold on. Let's do this. Toxic Growth. All right, perfect. Not going to grab that insta-kill. Yeah, listen to what user 23454 said. We're not going to grab that insta-kill because it's going to take away from us building up our field upgrade. And we're going to sit in here. I'm going to have all the toxic growths kind of back here. And then that way, if I ever get overwhelmed or I need to reload, I can hop back there and be safe when I reload. And those will stay there until obviously zombies go through it. And hopefully I'll be able to defend this area well enough to where those will only be used in an emergency. We got our entropathy camo there. Pick up that max ammo. Might as well grab speed coal since we're right here. Bonus points. Got to leave for that. Can't just not have bonus bonus points. Was oh, that a decoy? Hold on. I need that. Give me that decoy. Double points too. Easy. And we have two toxic growths now and our portal opened up. Let's go. So I'm putting one down here, another down here. And I think we'll just put the last one at the door and then switch back to our ring of fire. But now we have our backup plan. We also have enough to get pack a punch too. So let's try to get that real quick. There we go. And this is what the bullfrog looks like with pack a punch two here on D machine. I really like this green actually. It's growing on me quite a bit. A lot of zombies behind me though. Hold on. Let me get to a safer spot. There's a better look at the inspect this thing's nice now let's lead all these guys back to our little room and just tear them up that sounded sus oh this is gonna be crit city bonus points take those contamination camo let's go we gotta be getting close to being done all right we have two more toxic growths if we can only use one more so i'm gonna put it down right here we're gonna switch this back to ring of fire and then what round do we turn power on eight i think i'm gonna stay down here for two more rounds just to be safe i don't want to want to run all the way up to wonder fizz and have it not be there so once we get to like round 21 i'll hop up there grab a few more perks and then we can come down here and chill for the rest of the game assuming that we don't go down hold on why didn't it change ring of fire it still says it still says that we have toxic growth what i don't want toxic growth anymore change it oh there's glitch it's not letting me change this field upgrade though that's weird that's not gonna be good if we're stuck with just toxic growth i mean there's there's worth field upgrades to get stuck with but ring of fire is just so much better oh two birds one stone let's go easy achievement or trophy what are they called on here is it because i still have one why can't i change to ring of fire what if i do this i added this class to be ring of fire now and then i change it to ring of fire nope that's stupid ah huh, i guess i'm stuck either way though we're still racking up all these crits this is a nice spot I feel a lot safer in here than I do uh, up in penthouse. Okay, yeah, we still have... It's not... Oh, now it's Ring of Fire. It's because we did have it stuck there with one toxic growth. Okay, glad we, we got that straightened out. But I am playing on controller here. I'm not as confident with my movement ability and everything on controller. I know for sure that I would get messed up in penthouse. Pretty sure last time we played on D Machina, it was a struggle. But even on like keyboard and mouse, I don't think I can do penthouse for very long. At least not right now i feel like i need practice we got one more round to go until we're gonna go up to wonder fizz and go snag all that i'm pretty sure since the portal's here wonder fizz is here but i just want to be sure oh there's our rotten camo we're all done with our normal kills all we need to focus on is crits now and as long as our weapons pack a punched we should get those camos as well be pretty easy going here all right that's our last zombie let's grab all the scrap and head on up actually on our way there let's see if we can upgrade our weapon at all we can let's get purple no gold yet but we can get armor level two and three we have 36k we could get pack a punch three but i think we should just get the rest of our perks we might try to just survive around at penthouse too while we're up there all right here we go what do we need about everything let's get this 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 and that and now we just gotta survive let's bring a fire and we'll take out this whole round basically i'll grab that Ooh, I love how the mag in this is 170 rounds and then your stock ammo is 850. The bullfrog just comes with an insane amount of ammo. But SMG damage falls off so hard. Like once you get to like round 30, it's ridiculous. Oh, there's double points down there. I need those. Uh, might as well grab tombstone since we're here. And I'm not going to get elemental pop until like way later, if at all. Just don't want that taken away from our crits. We got five semtexes, three decoys. I think we're good to go. Let's just go sit down until we have enough for pack three. I love that Toxic Growth stays down even if you change your field upgrade. It's so nice. It feels like I'm playing a tower defense game with Toxic Growth. It's honestly, like, the, besides Ring of Fire, I think Toxic Growth is my favorite field upgrade. It's just so nice, and it's it's actually really fun to use, too. It's perfect for camping up and getting some camos done. There's our threshold camo. How many kills are we at right now? 480, so we need 1,480 crits, and then we'll be done. Ring of fire time. All of our toxic growths are already gone, basically. So it really did a number on that one right there to our right. And, of course, our front one's gone as well. I like that ring of fire basically covers this whole room, so it doesn't matter where I'm standing. Quick bonus points, though. Kill the crawler. And then I think next round, hopefully, we'll be able to get pack three. Let's throw out some treats for him. Or attract some 
zombies over here. These dog rounds feel so slow though. Like, come on, get here a little faster, why don't you? This is actually a really nice spot for grinding camos. It's extremely safe and it's not very slow either. All right, now we have enough to go ahead and get this pack punch. So let's do that. Hopefully before the zombies start spawning in. And this is what the bullfrog looks like with pack punch three. This camo is so, so nice. Definitely my favorite camo in this game, I think. I said definitely and I think in the same sentence, but I swear this is one of my favorites. Uh-oh, we're getting swarmed over here. How do we get back? With pure skill, baby. Check out the movement. Look at that. Nobody even touched me. I'm insane. I can kind of just sit in this corner too if it starts getting crazy. This gives me just enough room to get these kills. So I stand right at the door. Sure, I can probably hit some zombies from further away easier, but here I'm a lot safer. So let's ring a fire, get this Megaton, because we really don't want a Megaton in the room. This is the last thing we want in here. This is just smooth sailing. This is easy. So this last zombie hit the nuke, grab all the scrap. We don't have enough to upgrade yet, but we're getting close. Let's check on our ratio. We have... 940 kills out of those kills we have 609 crits that's not bad the one down though kind of bad since that happened on like round five but hopefully we can keep that just to, just so that one i have a very awful track record on on d machina so we'll see i will say though the best thing about this map no dr peck i've got somebody bitching in my ear constantly level 53 with this thing we're flying through levels you gotta love double weapon xp weekends with thanksgiving this extended weekend is just the perfect time to grind out weapons we actually might be able to get this done pretty quick. I kind of want to turn on the Rampage Inducer just to do it faster. We'll do it at the end of this round. I don't want to do it and then you get mobbed. So I'll keep one zombie, go turn it on, and then see if we can survive down here. This thing is basically unlimited ammo, especially with Ring of Fire and then how big this thing's mag is. It's just constant shooting. It's so nice. It's got to be one of my favorite SMGs in the game. Even if it doesn't do too much damage, it's just its ammo count and lack of needing to reload is sick. But even with the 85 round drum, if I, if I get a kill, I'm still probably going to reload. Like if this was multiplayer, I'd be cob reloading after every single one of these. We got one zombie left. Let's go take care of that rampage inducer. All right, let's turn this bad boy back on and hopefully we can survive this time. Round five is a little too much for us, but I think we can do round 27 as backwards as that sounds. Let's make sure we're in our spot though before we... Uh kill this last guy let's see if we can upgrade anything nope worth a shot to check we can refill our armor right here though where's our last zombie where'd he go dude's lost there he is all right let's go first rampage induce around see if we can do it look at me bobble my gun okay let's ring a fire i'm gonna try to get these kills then reload while zombies are a little further away there we go now once our ring of fire ends we're not caught with an empty mag we're big chilling i literally i cannot express how critical uh, no pun intended how critical Deadshot is to getting these camos done on controller. It's just so, so easy to get these crits. I don't have to stress about anything. It's just tap LT and you're good. Or what is it? L L2? I'm just used to Xbox control names. Also, I had somebody comment saying you're really playing on an Xbox controller. This is a PlayStation controller, bro. Just want to put it out there. And we, we are on PlayStation. So if we do get this done, we will have Dark Aether getting it on keyboard and mouse and controller. So nobody can say anything about my camo grinding methods. But there we go. Chemical camo's done. We're all done with Pack-a-Punch kills. That was fast, actually. I feel like we just got our other Pack-a-Punch camo. Crits can't be too far behind. Our Toxic Girls are still holding strong in here. We put those down at, like, what, round 15 or something? They've been here for 10 rounds now. That's pretty good. Pretty good shelf life on those. I think that was a smart move, putting those in. Okay, now we definitely have enough to get this to Legendary, so let's do that. Good thing it's just a short walk away. There we go. And we can repair our armor while we're here. We hardly had time to even do that with Rampage Inducer on. With how close we were to it when the round ended, we were already getting swarmed. Oh, Megaton instantly schlepped. Good thing I had the Ring of Fire already going. I hate it, though, that it tries to lock onto the Megaton while I'm shooting at these other zombies while he's invulnerable. Like, cannot do any damage to him, and it's still like, okay, you want to shoot him? Gotcha. Like, come on, aim assist. Be smarter than that. What? There's someone behind me. Oh, it's a crawler. Get out of here. Oh, shit. We know the Ring of Fire stat. Is this getting intense in here? Come on. Still getting like nothing but crits though. This is all flat ground. Might as well grab the insta kill before we use our ring of fire. It's not hurting us to have it now. And we can just finish out the round and hold on to our ring of fire actually. It's around 30. We're at 952 crits. I can't remember how many crits I needed actually. I think it was like 1,500, 1,400 or something. All right, let's ring of fire. Don't need to let these guys in. This is actually a really, really nice grinding spot. I can't believe I haven't really used this before. This is gonna be our go-to spot on D Machina now. It's just so safe and easy. My house might be faster and more skillful but who needs skill when i can just tap 
L2. It doesn't look like we're gonna get this done on an X fell round, at least not yet. Not on this one. We're at, we finally broke 1,000 on our crits though. We're 500 kills behind now. The gap really starts to, uh, to widen once you get these higher rounds. These play counts don't help because I don't think you can crit them at all. I don't think I've ever seen a crit on a play count. So the, the absolutely perfect game is impossible on here. And by perfect game, I mean getting every single kill as a crit. Wait, it's round 33 and our X fill is still up. That's how fast these rounds are going that the, our X fill hasn't expired yet on round 33. Got a ring of fire. This is just stupid easy. This actually might be faster than Colonel's office. I hate to say it because I basically live in Colonel's, but this is really, really nice. And we don't got to stop for assault waves. I kind of do like stopping and fucking up Orda. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's a side Easter egg on this map where you can see Orda. I've actually never done it. So if you guys know how to do it, please let me know how in the in the comments. This is cheese. We've gone through like five rounds in two minutes. Gotta love the rampage inducer. Level 54. We're actually about to get this thing max level. Double weapon XP is so cool. Let's reload while we have a second. There we go. I honestly can't remember how many crits we needed. So when Gold Viper pops up, it's literally just gonna surprise me. It's gotta be between 1,000 and 1,500 something like that right 1150 159 can we get 10 more kills 56 57 reload 69 169 sex 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 okay now i can kill these guys uh we finally lost our toxic growth over there to the right from my shenanigans double points I want those, but can I get them without dying? Let's throw a decoy out. Everyone go to the decoy. Uh-oh. I got a ring of fire. Megaton does not care about that decoy. I can't even get out. He's body blocking me. Those double points are just sitting there taunting me. I guess it doesn't matter. We're already at 120,000, but it's just like see shiny object and I need to pick it up. All right, max ammo works too. Yeah, this is kind of insane for camos. The amount of kills I'm getting like at this fast of a rate is just disgusting. And how safe this room is, this might be the goaded spot. Look at this. There's just nothing but crits nonstop. Round 35, our exfil window is back open. That was fast. Honestly, like the M79 in this room might be faster than the pizza room on uh, Forsaken. Like this could be cracked. I need to go to do some high rounding again. It's been a long time. I think if we do ever end up doing the M79, we're gonna do it on round 100. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to do the M79 at some point, but just with PhD and everything and how broken it is with PhD, I wanna go to round 100 with it. I wanna go to round 100 on every map eventually. I need to do it on Firebase. Because Firebase has been like my go-to map for cam camo grinding, but I know that the high rounding on there is just really, really slow. And then D machine is probably the easiest and fastest one to get done. Because I have a round 100 on Mauer and I have a round 100 on Forsaken. I might have to do the round 100 on Mauer again because that, that was the one that glitched out and I lost my calling card from it. But Forsaken is like such an easy round 100. It's literally no effort. Just time. I have a feeling this is the round we get Gold Viper though. What are we at? 1,300 crits? This is the round for sure. I can't even see the zombies. I just see they're outlined with uh, death perception. They're just getting messed up. I, yeah, I hate to say it. This is for sure better than Colonel's. Because I was just thinking about like that mangrove that gets stuck every time I'm in Colonel's. I've had no problems here. I haven't had to leave to go fight an assault wave. It's just pure camo grinding. I use my ring of fire literally right at the end of the round. But good thing with rampage inducer, zombies come right back. So it doesn't get fully wasted. I'm throwing on a decoy. So I feel like I'm... Oh, there's gold viper. Let's go. I was going to say I'm throwing on a decoy because I feel like I need to reload soon. But we're done. Is our exfil window still open? I don't think so. We might actually just be able to get to another exfil window pretty fast, considering how fast these rounds are going. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Good thing we just got gold viper. Okay. I'm just gonna self-revive there. Bring a fire. Bring it on zombies. I'll try to survive in here, I guess. I'm not even gonna go for more perks. I could have taken our teleporter there, but once I get gold viper, I don't care. If I die, I die. Let's just try to uh, survive until our next exfil window. Oh, Megaton, please die. Thank you. No. Uh oh, I'm bleeding out. I only have quick revive. No self revive here. And these zombies got crazy health. Somebody come here and get knifed. You. No. Uh oh, I think this is the end. No Adele. I have to get close to this pile. Come on, crawl faster. And knife. Can I get up? Can I get up? Please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Almost there. I don't think we're getting it. Nope. I think we're hitting different zombies with each knife. All right, that's whatever. We got Gold Viper and then every everything instantly fell downhill but our final stats 2297 eliminations 1506 crits zero revives and three downs not bad all right let's take a look at what this looks like with the mastery camels on it this is the bullfrog with golden viper this looks awful uh, it has that wood handle on it it doesn't even cover the whole top of the gun it is the coverage on this is terrible and it just makes the camo look all that much worse and then this is plague diamond pretty sick coverage is great 
this looks amazing. And then Dark Aether. Come on. What is this coverage? Gold Viper's got more coverage than that. Oh, you're actually trolling. That's ridiculous. But we do have three SMGs out of five now. So let's go ahead, hop in game and see what this thing looks like with Gold Viper there. All right, this is what the bullfrog looks like in game with gold viper on it this is so clean it's way cleaner in game than in the gunsmith you don't see too much of that weird colored handle i mean you can kind of see it here but it's not as prominent well, i guess it, it definitely looks better in game than the gunsmith i think a lot of these guns do but i don't know still not the biggest fan of gold viper but it don't look too bad here just just to be fair to, to gold viper but that's another smg down we are one step closer to getting diamond smgs here in cold war zombies i think we just need two more so that's where i'm gonna have to end today's video if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't you don't dislike if you're new here please start subscribing put out all kinds of content throughout the week that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later